Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and our beloved governor's ascension through the Jin dynasty. We resume with an intern phase. At the end of the last episode, well, and the beginning of it, I asked what your opinion was on becoming emperor or becoming regent. One of the two end goals for any of the eight princes in their campaigns. Before I tell you the result, Sima Mao signed peace with Cao Huan, former Emperor Wu, who has also signed peace with Sima Wei. Sima Pu is loyal. Good. Our son should be. He is our faction heir. And we have a tycoon. Hello. Hmm. Advisor, heir, or faction leader. Unfortunately, our heir cannot equip items at the moment. So, Lu Ji. My good... Advisor friends. Congratulations. Wait. Samai, you don't have anything. But this unlocks an assignment. And you are leading our armies at the moment. So here. The result from the question is we believe me and Ever forward. the one person that helps me decide. Thank you. <laughs> believe that it is best to go for regents. The people of the Celestial Empire do not want nobles bickering amongst themselves over who shall claim the throne. They just want stability. And so we shall offer that by backing Emperor Wu. What this means is that we need to kind of charge past our brothers Sima Wei and Sima Gong, secure Luoyang, and free our Emperor from the clutches of the Empress. Who we really don't like. In order to do that, we are waiting for Sima Gong to get up here and to attack him while he's in force march. Again, we're trying to reclaim the armor craftsman here. I really don't think anything's happening this turn. And I think we should try and befriend the Jin Empire. I think that's a good thing to do. Actually, maybe not. You know what? We'll just carve a path. <laughs> we'll take Luo Yang by force if necessary. And free the Emperor. I think that's the plan. Sima Wei signed peace. The Sima Wei. That's not confusing at all. Which means a few vassals and whatnot. Have peace out sensitive information. A loose lip courtier has told you of an indiscretion committed by a friend of theirs in another faction. This information could be used for extortion, but your courtier would be deeply upset at the breach. Breach of trust. The courtier is Lu Yun, who is, where are you? Right here. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me check. I think that we can take this. Exploit the information. That would give us some mind. You know what, maybe we should start working on spirit. We will respect our retainer's wishes. You respected your courtier's wishes and did not exploit the information. To break trust would be to irrevocably tarnish yourself. Yes. We live Remain for our firm. people. Not the other Execute way around. We have claimed the Chengdu Armorsmith, so we'll upgrade it. This will give us uh, armor ancillaries throughout our campaign. All good stuff. And now we have a few decisions to make. This army was down here to defend our south. Do we try and build this army and push against Yan Yuan Shengzhen? Or do we break the army apart and complete Sima Ying's army? So many questions. So few answers. What's this? Liang Shi. Oh, it's that dude. Shu Ping Wan Lian Ri. Rui Yue? That's a name. Lu Ying Feng. Part of Sima Wei. I don't trust that at all. I do not trust that in the slightest. And we do have Gu Yan Yan in our faction. Minus four satisfaction. Ugh. But it's only if she becomes part of the ministerial body. Hmm. I'm considering 
finding a spouse for our beloved leader. I'm not quite sure who that would be. We could recruit one, of course, going back to the court screen. Could pick up one of these people, but I am incredibly weary of spies. And they're all a little bit older than uh, our good boy Samahim, who's only 25. Historically, Samaying did not have the longest of lives, but that's going to change here. Did he just... Hold on. Simo Wei requested Simo Wei to join their war against me. That's not nice. Battlefield Medicine. Yes. And the Dion Duan Wu Festival. The Duan Wu Festival is a momentous day. Drinks are poured freely and the smell of food fills the air as you celebrate the honor of Chu Yuan. The teams pull their dragon boats to the river with much clamor and cheering from the banks. By a truly breathtakingly slim margin, your team rose to victory. Glory is yours. That gives us plus 10 noble support. Faction-wide. Excellent. Now what are we doing? <laughs> That's the real question. Hmm, we could get medium cav. We could do that. I like me some medium cap, but we already have the Cheong. Well, is that enough, really? I don't think so. But I would like a second administrator slot. Which is another thing I want to talk about real quick. We made uh, Shizu. This court screen is getting a lot of use. We made Shizu the administrator of Bashi because he was very displeased with us. And his effects aren't terrible. But it was pointed out to me that Sentinels make pretty good administrators. And we've noticed that. As you can see, they have a few administration income boost thingy maboobers. And they do have a lot of melee defense from their expertise. So if they're not on the field, they'll be inside the garrison helping defend. So we should keep an eye out for sentinels. It's a good, good note. While I'm trying to decide what to do with Chishong here. We could go take a look at this territory, but I don't think a single retinue is going to be enough. On the march. And I really don't want to recruit anyone. <laughs> I'm afraid. I also don't really want two strategists in the same army, but Lu Ji coming in here would be... something. Hu is also pretty upset. Income from industry. Ooh. Could bring in her. Wait, no, we can't. If we were going to bring in anyone, I'd want Lu Yun or Shizu. But money. Hmm. Li. Can I get military access with you? We can make this work. Whoa. Hold on. Not 14 food. No, I need all that food. I'm thinking like two. We could also try and vassalize these two factions and see what's what. I did go through and I gave Lu Yun um, this armor piece, actually, the Forged Iron Scale. We can throw this in here now that we do have our own armor smith. And how do you feel about non-aggression. You cannot reasonably propose this term whilst you are also proposing a military access pact. Okay, well, military access is more important to me at the moment. I've never used this button, the issue ultimatum, but it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Mostly because we'd be considered treasonous if she declines and we go to war with her after we just peaced out with her. Ooh. Ooh, you are pro. You are poor. All right, I'll take any money. Ooh, this is making the Jin Empire happier. I don't really care about making Sima Gong and Sima Wei happier, though. Pretty inclined to kill them. Down to 45. We'll do this. So now this means that we can walk through her territory to attack Sima Wei, which is all good by me. And I think this means I bring in Shizu. Yeah. 
Did he say lift the peasants? Lift them into the air. Toss them. <laughs> I know what he meant, right? He meant to, like, elevate them. But I just pictured him throwing peasants into the air. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Focus. Focus. Wow, we're going to decimate our income if I do this. So why am I doing it? Good question. Now, as a sentinel... Not a sentinel. What are you? Champion. You do give defense to spear units, right? Or should I just get swords? It's commanded. Oh. Retinue. Ammunition. Armor for all spear units. 10% armor is pretty good. Okay, we'll pick up just two more G. You know what? We'll pick up one and one uh, shield, dude. This will increase our front line quite substantially and reduce our money even more. Rest and and Chi Shung can stay down here to defend. We'll take this mustering bonus for one turn and see where Sima Gong goes. I'm a little disappointed that he came up to see me and then left right away. But he ran out of military supplies, so his AI is like, nope, turn around. Turn the vehicle around. Sima Wei signed a peace with Sima Zhao. Zhu Ro requested Sima Ji join the war against something. And we have a clay pig. I was looking at this before, but... The Jin Empire, besides being incredibly rich, making me jealous, they are allies with Sima Ji and Zhu Ruo. So he can kind of approach us in a number of ways. I'm not sure how heavily we want to rely on diplomacy when dealing with them. Something happened that made our treasury go down. I'm not sure what it was. Towards victory. Not that yet. Hmm. What's our quest from you? Sorry. Ah, uh, increase the city. Yeah. Luji has leveled up. What are we doing with you? We could make him... a combatant? I mean, we'll grab this, and then we can decide where to go. I don't really need another strategist quite yet. Probably should have grabbed this. Because we have Luji. No, we'll use Luji. Luji's I am more famous disposal, anyway. My lord. If I wanted to go here, how would I get here? I can reach it this turn. Okay. Never, ever do this. To Charging headlong into the fog of war is a terrible idea. Such an act would go but hey, badly. it's an idea that I obviously entertained. What's this map you look like? Oh. I knew what it was going to be the moment I touched it. All right, we're going to fight this. I've chickened out of too many settlement fights. They will be drowned by our strategies. They will. So long as we fight together, I fear nothing. Nor do I. I can ask no more than you do your duty. Hopefully everyone does their duty, and that we win. <laughs> okay, so the mine fights like this are incredibly difficult, but we have a plan. I think that plan is that we go this way too. I should play back here. I'm getting confused by all the lines, okay. So if we deploy here and come from over here, we should be able to avoid the towers. Seems good. Let's put the catapult down there. Sharing hunters. I love the fact that we have fire arrows already. Thank you, Samaying, for being helpful. <laughs> You're a great leader. Cavalry, this group. I like keeping the Chiang Hunters kind of by themselves. I don't know why, I just do. Ready. 
So, we are going to break this and fast forward. Why does it look like I'm being shot? Because I am. All right, pull back a little bit. And then fast forward again. <laughs> Our men have been discovered. They have been discovered. Now, ideally, does the rain affect the fire damage or am I just missing? It looks like I'm just missing really bad. And setting the forest on fire. I'm trying to break this building. Wait a minute. Can I shoot this with... Archers. I can. Loose missiles. All right, so we're going in. Swords this is our shielded group. They go first. Stand ready, catapult. I feel like at this point, it would be almost better to just shoot the infantry Fire. and see if the catapult accidentally hits things. I think that's the plan, actually. Make haste. Come over here. Over here. Who can we duel? Probably not anyone. I don't remember there being a commander here. It's just the captain. Our hidden men have been seen. Fire damage. Fire damage. Good. So it's on fire now. We shoot this one. And everything is going according to plan. We definitely Stand want ready. to try and get like Swords. three of them in here first. And then have the other guys just hold back. Okay, you're suffocating yourself, guys. So step forward. <laughs> no suffocating allowed. Fire upon them. Take aim. Attend. Double time. Now we definitely want to try and stay out of this firing arc. So I think we're doing well. Good. Uh, probably don't want to shoot into our front line. That seems like a terrible idea. So let's shoot fly. that way a little bit. Okay, you guys need to come out too. Unfortunately, this doesn't allow for our cavalry to come in. You know what? Ooh, they're coming out. Ha! <laughs> that could be a terrible idea. I think we're going to have our Chiang Raiders come around. That might be a bad idea. Still kind of my plan. Let's see if we can get some spears in here, because there are actually cav there now. It's usually not a good idea to bundle up like this. But it's kind of working. I think we get our men in here now. And pop the giant debuff. With some eyeing. So he gets into a position a little bit. Let's get our shot cav. Armor for everyone. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Bring our Ching hunters over here to claim this. One step closer to victory. Easy game, easy life. Wait, hold on. Catapult, stop. Okay, it's out of ammunition now. See? I did this <laughs> yesterday, or on Monday, and now the AI did it. Horsemen. It's like returning the favor. Move, move. Bowmen. See if we can get stand our shots ready. in here. Uh, crossbowmen. Crossbow, stand ready. Shoot the calf, please. Actually, shoot these. Take them down. Cavalry, attend. Your job is Cavalry to claim that, Raiders, men. not fight. To attention. Unleash fury. Smile. yourselves. Move out quickly! He's here mostly for encouragement. Horses, but the enemy ready. warriors are running. Ah. Easy. I think we can fast forward now. Well maybe not. We do have a few things to break still. Alright. Unfast forward, attention. just in case. To attention. We have three more units. Cavalry, mount up. Let's push Blades through here. Ready. Oh, my shock cap are kind of just hanging out, aren't they? Kind of just need to start breaking them so we can win. Okay, pull back. A few seconds on that. 
This is going to be a good charge. This is a downhill Watch charge. And they're not braced. Ooh. Yep. The AI should have braced too. They were not prepared. Now he's going to kill this last come. unit. And everything Unleash will be okay. Fury. Now we can fast forward. Boom. We are taking a little bit of shots, so I'm going to try and end this quickly. Claim victory. Not bad. How much of a difference it makes when you use actual strategy. Ah, uh, feels good. I do feel a little bit bad about wasting some of my catapult ammunition, but I thought I would try. Careful planning ensured victory. These guys were heroes, the Chiang Raiders. This heroes of their people. Our needs. Now this we have the Jade Mine. The drops of this is incredibly prof profitable. I almost said profitable again. <laughs> Which maybe is a saying, a way to say it, I don't know. But, so this will give multiple types of income. It gives both commerce and industry income. And you can go down this path to get additional trade influence. Which if we're trying to be nice and peaceful, might actually be worth doing. Our king. Well, he's not a king yet. He's a prince. Our prince has leveled up. Beloved governor. What are we doing with you? Whoa. You have a sentinel skill. You have zeal? Are you serious? Yes, please. Uh, increased chance of ambushing? Yes, please. You have the best tree, Simaing. Okay. Chishong. I guess you're still here, just hanging out. Mudu. Does this give public order in the base game? I don't think so. Oh, duh, because this is his unique thing, isn't it? That's right. All right, we'll keep upgrading it then. We're almost capped on noble support. Actually, we should probably try and upgrade something that gives me money. <laughs> so that would be this, I guess. Yeah. I think that's the correct plan. We can check real quick to see if we have access to trade. Trade? Ah, our old nemesis. We could make this work if we were to force it. Can we force it? Oh, she really doesn't give me military access. Hmm. She's very poor in foods. So I was hoping this would be worth more to her. 400 a turn would be incredibly vital. Mm. I don't think I have many ancillaries. I gave them all away. I want that monkey. I can't really give you money. I don't have any to give. Make payments? We could give her territory, but I like all of my territory. Wow. So 1815 gold right now. I think I'm more willing to give her food. Now losing food does decrease our peasantry income. Am I okay with that? This is a lot of food. Sitting on 12. I think we do it, though. We'll try and befriend her a little bit. Well, I should have given her a little bit more money then if we were going to do that. But my plan ultimately, I think, is to make her a vassal. Or, you know, just eventually kill her. When she's no longer useful. One of the two things. I don't know why Sima Wei still has his army standing outside my toolmaker. It's actually a little unsettling. Sima Wei signed a peace with Shan Yu. Shan Yu signed a peace treaty with Sao Huan. And Sima Wei signed a peace treaty with Sima Shang. So 
very confusing that these two are both named Simoe. Just incredibly confusing. Why are you up here, Simoe? Okay. How aggressive do we want to be towards saving the Emperor? Is it like a go, go, go now sort of thing? Or like a uh, considerate sort of thing? I actually don't need to do a whole lot of replenishment, so I think I just go for this. Simo Wei is probably very desperate to get his hands on the Emperor as well. Hey, hey, trade port is ours. We are as one. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this. Maintain I feel like momentum. this is going too easy. I know I just jinx it by saying that. But look at this. All this territory is not being attacked at the moment. It helps that we've befriended these two. This is like our northern border. And they're just acting as our defense. Hey, uh, Yu Ying Shu, do you like me a little more now? She's still not particularly happy. This is getting closer, though. So basically, this person wants me in it, but this person does not. Hmm. That can change over time. And she is a minor princess. I think both of these are, right? Yeah, so if we capture the Emperor, not capture, but become regent to the Emperor, they'll both like me a lot. Hmm. Hmm. I see it coming together. I see the lines. Simigong has returned to Hanzhong. Hopefully he stays there for a while. Yuan Shang Zhen requested their master Sima Wei go to war against Sima Liang. The long way around. You have been crafty and patient in your rule. You have said the right things to the right people and have at last drawn the attention of the Empress. Yet your attempt to secure a high office has been blocked by her advisors. You could appeal to her directly, but her retinue would be displeased. We'll concede. Mind alignment. To come all this way only to insult the Empress's closest advisors would be unwise. You concede this battle as oh, lost Harman. and take the trade ports. <laughs> Decisive victory. Should we fight this? Just do the same thing we did last time. Let's have a repeat. Minimize our damage. Our tide is rising, swelling with victory. It is. Give these dogs nothing but fire and fury. We are on the river, Shichao. Fire doesn't always work near water. Warmth lies on the other side of victory. Well, I say that, but wasn't there specifically a river battle in the Three Kingdoms? Against Cao Cao and um, Sun Chuan? Where they lit all the boats on fire? So maybe fire is the right idea. Maybe. I'll have to think about this. But until then... We are basically going to repeat our exact same strategy in almost every way. You might even call it unoriginal. Make ready. Attend. Right. Ready bows. Archers ready. Sword sharpened. Catapult. So with this, we start shooting into the masses. Make haste. And with our fire arrows. We shoot the towers. We'll grab our group. This is going to go in. Blood for the blood gun sort of thing. And then you need to shoot. What's the biggest thing here? You. Guys are coming as backup. And Cav, get ready for some exciting flanking maneuvers. Now, let's hope you guys are more accurate than the trebuchet. You are. Substantially so. 
to attention. Stay okay, fire achieved. Prepare. Shoot into that block, Take please. That would make me very happy. Attend. Burn the tower. Fire achieved. Steal yourself. Easy. Now, bows ready for the call. You have your mission, Shishao. So Break ready. them. Ready to ride. Hmm. I wanted the Chiang hunters or raiders Open. to go around again, Get but ready. they've actually kind of Man, properly defended. Battle. It's weird. I don't know what this means. Ready. Let's bring Samaying in for his debuff. A comrade is being attacked. The time Shocker. Show fury. Wow, we're breaking that Go saber infantry. Where is the crossbow? Probably shoot back there then. It's time. Let's go, Kev. We have an opening. It's time to take it. I like how these are the shield variant, and they're just kind of... One step yep. closer to a victory. This is your life now. Just absorbing arrow shots. Well done. And the ready. Take heed, warriors. Quick march. Okay, so my Ying's going and in, and he's going to do a huge debuff. Oh, I missed that one group. That's fine. To attention. The cab are in. They've done it. Can you remain here? Poor shielded calf. Just because they have shields, I need them to soak all the damage. All the damage. See if I can get these guys to uh, push through forcefully. Okay, we claim the tower. In you go. Hey, look, they stopped shooting my spearmen. I'm sure they appreciate that. We'll bring in the Chi Militia, just, I guess, to bring him in. The enemy unit flees. What coward. This is going well. Should probably try and capture this, huh? Cavalry, to attention. Nah, they're all breaking. Well, mostly all breaking. More buffs. Okay. I fast forwarded because I thought everything was dying. The enemy warriors are running. Ha! That does not seem to be the case. A few things are wavering. These towers in the middle are kind of troublesome. Steal yourselves! Whirlwind catapults! Whirlwind catapults. Is that what they're called? Archers attend! Let missiles fly! I never knew that. Kind of makes sense, I suppose. Ready. Their front line has buckled. So the question the is, can we break them now? I think we can. Everything's broken, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Minimal damage. We do have one Saber Militia that got really wounded, but hey, it happens. And our Cheong Raiders are... Our hunters are not in the best of health. 244 kills in the catapult. Very good. Careful planning ensured victory. I mean, there's just a lot of fire involved. This will meet our needs. Welcome, my lord. To so the trade ports. So this is just for spice. Okay. Industrial cargo trade port. Huh. Well, I'd love to upgrade this, but our money has to be spent elsewhere. And can we trade with anyone else now? Because we have the trade ports. We can trade with the Jin Empire. Maybe. Don't I have to go to war with you? That's a lot of money, though. Sima Mo. Aren't you one of Sima Wei's vassals? So he wants me to support his independence. What does this do exactly? Actually, 
can talk to you. I can't. So basically what this is saying is that if Sima Mo wants to forcibly declare independence from Sima Wei, we'll support him. I mean, sure, yeah. Sounds good to me. Do you have any ancillaries? No. I have a monkey. I kind of want the monkey, though. Ooh. Money is not your strong suit, is it? How much will you give me? We want to try and make sure that he likes us more after he pays us money. So here. 490 plus 20 relationship. Yeah. Anything that irritates Sima Wei is going to make me happy. Hold the center. Now if I were to guess, yeah. Impossible. I back to off. Attention. So yeah, there's a sizable threat. Unfortunately, she's not as interested in breaking off from Sima Wei. She does like us because honorable treatment of our soldiers and release our generals. See? It's nice being a good guy sometimes. So maybe we can get her to turn against Simo Wei as well. You grant me a kindness that would make me happy. What am I trying to do? Upgrade. I think we want to upgrade Wudu. We definitely want to continue upgrading this. It's not that big of a deal at the moment. Oh, we do have two. Okay. So sure, we'll upgrade the silk. We have to decide what to do with Unify Qi Shong still. I'm not sure. Honestly, not sure. Hmm. Whoa, hold the phone. What were you doing that far north? Oh, boy. Okay, well, the Jin would like a non aggression pact. Non aggression pact with us. If we're going after the Emperor, this isn't good. Can we even go after the Emperor right now? You know what? We're going to take this. My monkey, huh? You want my monkey for this. Is that worth it? Is that the only ancillary that I have? My monkey? It is. Alright. I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but I have a plan. Because Simo Wei has proved that he is a thorn in my side. A remarkable talent, one. A man comes before you, possessed, he insists, of a remarkable talent. He claims to know Chen Shou's, Chen Shou's records of the Three Kingdoms by heart. To prove it, he will tell you a character's tale for a price. Whose story would you like to hear? So the options are to turn him away, Liu Bu, the greatest warrior in all of China, Zhao Yun, the Tiger General. And of course, the option we are going to select. Cunning Sumai, ancestor of the princess. You heard the tale of how Sumai guided the kingdom of Wei to victory, laying the foundations of Jin. Such tales are enlightening. Of course, in our head canon, Sumai led the kingdom of Qi. Because we in our Kong Rung playthrough, stole him from Cao Cao. <laughs> it's nice to be Cao Cao, really. He's a great king. I'm going to ambush this. Marching. We have a 100% ambush chance. I'm going to be a little upset if it is not successful. We are going to lose the Silk Trader, which is very disappointing. Cataphracts. Chu Infantry. What is this army? Oh boy. Oh boy. 
My blade is poised. What if you go this way? I feel like Chi Shung is kind of just hanging around at the moment. What do you wish, my lord? Do I want to do this? If I recall him, summoning him back onto the field is going to be expensive. But I'll also get 1.2k per turn. Look at that. I called it perfectly. Well, you know, off by 79. But being off by 79 is still pretty close. <laughs> Quick maths. So I guess now we're trading with the Jin Empire. I don't have any ancillaries. I gave you my last ancillary, bro. Um, He's very rich. We could give him Luo Yang. That sounds like a terrible idea. Because that's what's allowing us to trade with him in the first place. Oh boy. Yep, not even worth. Crap, we need an ancillary. How about food? Even though you're rich in food. Wow, okay. Fine, be that way. My poor silk trader. Oh, see my way, why? This is horrifying. Ambush succeeded. Easy. I think I'm gonna fight this. We'll get to see the Chu Spearmen. Well, we've seen them before. But I want to kill everyone. <laughs> oh, our Qiang Raiders are, or Qiang Hunters are still pretty wounded. I don't know why I keep calling them Raiders. The Raiders are the Shark Cav. Remember that. They are different. I think it'll be fine as long as we just shut down their archers. And rear, uh, rear charge the cheer spoon, chew spearman. I was gonna say cheer spoonman. That's um an interesting twist, I suppose. Do they have calf? No. Right down the line. This is the plan, anyway. Where's the exit? Wait, is there no retreat area? Do they get rid of the retreats? Oh. Oh ho. Okay. That's something. I think these guys are going to have to charge into this. Rear charge them, obviously. I don't know. And then one per strategist. Wait, why are you over here? Oh, well. I put them in the wrong place. My bad. The new guys just shoot. Actually, if these guys could shoot the Chu, that would be very helpful. I don't really care who you guys shoot. Where? Oh, where? There's one of you. Oh. Wait, why did only one of you go? Confused. One step closer to victory. Water overcomes all. To Actually, you should be here, and you should come chase down the strategist. Make ready. The time has come. Shortman, move. Let's get our cab back in here. Both ready. Arrows. You lack the strength to defeat me. Are you Your sure? Your words are as pathetic as you are! Because I'm Ready beginning to think that we don't. Go, go, go. 
turn around. Wait, no, I want you here. You're now shooting into this mess. Where are the Chu? They're broken. Where? I'm also dropping some frames here. Too much foliage. Oh, they're there. Yeah, please eradicate them from existence. I want there to be none left. Maybe the catapult should stop firing now. You know what? Shoot at that. Yeah. Shoot at the really far thing. Please kill her. Oh, Sima Ying is running. Oh, I was not paying attention. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. I'm sorry, Sima Ying. If only wars were won with witty words. But you'll be fine. You'll be okay. Believe in you. I mean, no, so stay here. I'm trying to get you guys out. I'm trying to kill the strategists. It is not working. I even have the hunters going after her. The enemy unit flees. What cowards? At the ready. Yeah, I get that they're fleeing, but they need to die. A little different. Take heed, okay, Samaying, stay Prepare. there. Nurse your wounds. Go, go. Now I should use this opportunity to chase the things down. Is okay. They were no match. Double time. Uh, these are G. These are sabers. Still chase? No, not chasing over here. We're shooting over there. That's close enough. Uh, frames, please come back. Our men I need you. The battlefield. Okay, we killed both of the generals. Samaying is chasing that down. I think that's good enough. Hopefully these guys can kill them. And that will be that. That was a little closer than I wanted it to be. Partially my fault. Partially not. <laughs> we did uh, shut down the Chu Spearmen, though, very quickly. Decisive victory. See, the AI doesn't know. It underestimates my power. Have you heard the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? That's all I can remember or think about any time I say the underestimated my power. We have captured Zhong Li Zhu. Her retinue. Saber militia. Archer militia. So she also has some Chu spearmen. She is lumbering. We'll let her go. Actually. I'm going to employ her. We have need of good fighters. She's not really a fighter, but I'm taking 9% punishment. Towards the design. I think we may have found love on the battlefields. Sima Shong, who are you? Negotiate. Oh, you're over here near Sima Mo. You are allies with Sima Leong and Sima Ai. And at war with Shun Yu. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to see if I can make him like me more. No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. See, my eye was actually one of the people that I was looking at playing. He was in the trailer with Samaying, so it makes sense if we were friends. We lost our Silk Trader. We have gained new technology. We have the technology. Income from commerce and more trade agreements. Probably a good thing. Ammunition and medium spears. I also want mass mobilization. Onyx dragons. I do love me some onyx dragons. Are these J dragons? Hold the phone. All right, well, we're going down that tree. Definitely. Absolutely. But 
We should probably go here first. Increase food production. I'm going to go down this line a little bit. Now what I was thinking, we actually have enough money for this. Holy crap. Oh, we do have an administrator slot. We could make it she shall, but he is currently busy. Hmm. He does give income from all sources in the administrative commandery. You might pull him out of the fields. But you can let me know what you think. If you have any opinion on it whatsoever, which is fine if you don't. Zhong Lizhu, our newly recruited strategist that we saved from the throes of death. And Samaying. Eh? But that will be a decision to make next time. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I do look forward to the continuation of our beloved governor's ascension to the Jin Dynasty.